Hello guys, this is Alex. How are you today? Uh, this is just another service call. Today is Sunday. All the stores are closed. So let's see what's going on here. So we have a Locking Var FTXL boiler. It's 400,000 BTUs. It serves 12 apartments and it has a lockout. Now it's gonna be hard to see, but it's a lockout and it says flow switch or the low water cutoff. Can you see in the screen? So it's a flow switch or a low water cutoff. The things you're gonna look for is you're gonna look at the switch, you're gonna look at your pump, because if the pump is working, it tells the switch to move because it's just, it's just a flow switch. If you see here, it has an arrow and the arrow goes that way. So it, it's coming right out, out of the outlet. So the pump is pumping into the boiler and then the pressure comes through here and it's gonna make the switch. And then once the switch makes, it's gonna tell your control board to go ahead and fire, but it's not doing that. So let's, test the switch and then we'll test the pump we because we already know that we have uh, pressure we have water and none of the valves are closed okay so this is the flow the flow switch let's test it and my flow switch is model ifs 01 bl s1 and just like its name says it, it's a flow switch. So it's coming out of the supply, so the water is going that way. Okay, so I have my two meter leads on the red and the white wire, and I'm gonna pull on the switch as if there was water pressure. Can you hear that? The switch is working. I'm pretending that there's water passing through here and there's a dip a, a, a switch like this and when water passes by it just moves the pressure moves it and it makes the contacts on the switch one more time the switch is working now we're going to check the pump okay so for the pump how do how do you test the pump uh well if you don't hear water being pumped you at least should hear it, but if you don't hear it, you might suspect of the motor, that the motor is not working. And what you do is you remove, this is the information for the pump. So this is the information for the pump. It is upside down. I'm gonna uh, put it up, up right for you. So it says that I should have 4.9. Uh, amps when the when the pump runs So for this test you're gonna have your multimeter on amps and we're gonna use the jaws of of, of the meter and we're gonna put it on the hot wire And it's gonna tell tell us how many amps is pulling when we turn it on So I'm gonna turn the pump the boiler on And then the boiler is going through the safeties. But since the boiler is going into lockdown, I have to reset it. And then that's activating my pump. And look at that, 16, 15, that's too much when it's supposed to be 4.9. So that's telling me that the pump motor is bad. So let's turn it off. To replace the pump, we're gonna shut off all the switches. We're gonna turn off all the shut valves that you see. That's to avoid the water draining from the second and the first floor. So you want to uh, prevent the boiler from draining. So we have another shut valve here. This is the main one. 
so that's close and we're going to close all of them just to make sure we are okay and once once you um, turn the power off and close all the shutter valves we are going to remove the power to the pump And now we're going to remove all the four, uh, eight volts, eight volts that has on the flange, on the upper flange, and on the lower flange. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the pump. So I shut all the water, all the uh, valves off, and I drank some of the water from down there from the boiler cell cock, so to avoid um, spillage of water right here when I remove the pump. So now we're going to install our pump, and just remember to. It had an arrow going down, so it's important that you don't put it upside down. And I have my uh, and I have my gaskets on each side. Have to lift. So I just turned the water back on and the air separator is working. Can you hear? It's removing all the air, which is awesome. I have this valve uh, off and now it stopped. So is the air that was trapped in the main supply pipe all the way to the valve I'll just show you and it just stopped. So that's good business. So I turn all my valves on. All the valves are on. I have the right pressure in my um, in my um, gauge. So I'm gonna turn the boiler on. Is it gonna go into lockout mode again? Or maybe not. It's going into pre-purge. I hear the ignition. There you go, ignition. Seventy percent, eighty one percent. So, since it's cold, it's going to go to a hundred percent. Now we have four forty four with a full load, so that what it's supposed to be. And now let's test the switch making it's supposed to be closed. And you hear that it's closed, it's working. So I'm pretty sure that some of you are thinking, well, can we bypass the Taiko flow switch and then leave it running like that and get the part and then come back and yes, you can do that, but it's not going to work because you bypass the switch. You just pull on the switch, what I show you and um, 
So you could do that. You could pull it and bypass it, and it's gonna send the power to the control board telling that it's working. But what's gonna happen is that since your water pump is not circulating, your boiler is going to go on high limit because it's going to warm up right away. It's going to reach 100, 140, 170, whatever the setup you have it on your high limit. And it's going to reach the limit and it's going to uh, turn off because it's getting too hot on the outlet. And on these locking bars, there's sensor everywhere, inlet, outlet, outside, inside. A lot of safeties that help us uh, save lives. So that's it for today. I hope uh, you benefit from this video. If you did, please like. When you, when you give me a like, uh, this video goes to more people. And when you subscribe, it gives me some points. So please like and subscribe this video. Thank you.